Hello, I'm John Branion, and this is the number two devotional in America. Welcome to the Daily Deuce. Life is not fair. This isn't controversial. It's an obvious truth that shouldn't cause any more outrage than saying water is wet or fire is hot. But for some reason, you're unable to deal with life's unfairness. You're bothered by the success of others. Jealousy eats away at your happiness. You become less likable than cold sores, causing people to avoid you, leading to fewer opportunities, which serves to prove that life is not fair. Don't ignore the disappointment that comes from realizing life is unfair. That will only allow envy to grow. When you're filled with envy, bitterness drives every decision. Every word you speak drips with venomous bile. Optimism is impossible. Hope disappears and life becomes torture. There's only one way to effectively deal with life's inequality. Say thank you. No matter how little you have, it's more than you deserve. Your life is a testimony to God's goodness. He owes you nothing. Zilch. Zero. Yet, he has given you everything. Comparing what God has given you to what God has given Donald Trump or Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates will fill you with bitter envy and snatch all traces of joy from you. You're not wise enough to properly judge the quality of anyone else's life. Can you guess how I know that? Because you're not judging the quality of your own life properly. You think fairness is not only achievable, but will lead to fulfillment and happiness. Instead of expressing gratitude for what you've been given, you're griping about what you lack. That's silly. Since you aren't owed anything, you don't lack anything. Every circumstance is a bonus. It's not fair to take what God gives you without saying thanks. God deserves some credit, don't you think? If he wasn't keeping your heart beating you wouldn't be able to gripe about life's being unfair. At the very least, you should praise God for enabling you to complain. Life is not fair. Every second of every day, you benefit from God's unfair distribution of blessings. Be grateful for that. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Colossians 4.2 